Friday. I'm Shana Humphreys. We'll get another check on your forecast now with next weather meteorologist Ahmed Baji. We're hoping there's a lot more days like today because this has been pretty beautiful. <laughs> it's been gorgeous, a little warmer, but wow, it's been windy. It brings that wind chill right on down. Something we were talking about last night, even at this time. And the big thing here going forward is we might even have a little more of that. Sunset, we're past it. We've got the 30s here holding on after making it into the low 40s today. Uh, kind of an interesting thing, too, because even by the end of the week, with the heat we have on the way, upper 40s, almost 50, we're still nowhere near record territory. We have to get all the way up into the 60s in order for us to even crack any records. Now for tomorrow, here's what we've got. Low 40s once again for Monroe, making it to about 40 to 41 at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Sunshine there, and once again, nice and bright. Adrian at 41 as well. Leaves us with some pretty easygoing conditions. Lenaway, Monroe, you're doing fine. The breeze as well. We're out of the west at 5 to 10, so much improved compared to today. Here's where things start to change up a little bit. Let's go to Dexter, 39 degrees. So we're in back in the upper 30s for tomorrow. It's the coolest day. We had the brief little front that moved through today. That's where the clouds were, by the way, and where the wind really picked up late this morning. And while we have the upper 30s tomorrow, it depends on where you're at, whether you're above average or not. So our average high is 35. Anything three degrees on either side of that, we consider average. Gives you a little bit of leeway, right? Once you get above or below that three degree window on either side, then you're in the somewhat more abnormal range. And anywhere around 39 or above is technically above average for us. But we go to downtown, 39 degrees, right there, trying to make it to 40. And it's going to be a little tricky to actually make it that far, especially the further north we go. And you can see that right here with Livingston, Oakland, Macomb counties, all closer to the mid 30s. So even though you're not right at 35, 37 is within that three degree range. So you're right at the average mark technically in Brighton for tomorrow afternoon. The thing that's key there is there's plenty of sunshine moving its way through. Troy also 38, just barely there with a ton of sunshine hanging around in Chesterfield, just about the same with clear skies through much of the day after some morning minor cloud cover. Port Huron at 36. So as we get closer to the water, even cooler air. But once we get further into tomorrow night, that's where we have one last cool one. Because you can see right here, while we are mainly on the clear side, there are a few clouds trying to sweep their way in. The key factor is this. 40s here really crank up with low 20s tomorrow night. Tonight's a chilly one. Tomorrow night is quite cold. We're down in the low 20s. And then we have our much more mild days. Here's the heat we've been talking about. Upper 40s by Friday. We've got the Lions on Saturday. Remember, not Sunday, it's on Saturday. Against the Broncos here as tailgating begins. We're mostly cloudy. The sun goes down. Then we cool. Mid 30s as you leave the game. Looking at the 30s there in mostly cloudy conditions. But right here, all the way through the, the start to almost middle of next week, the heat is on. There's plenty of warmth there for us to work with, with an outlook that still is just plain old red all the way up through Christmas Eve and into Christmas Day. Do not expect a white Christmas. We've got the heat definitely still holding in the 40s all the way up to almost the holiday itself. Wow, I know that's disappointing for some, but yeah. it has been really nice. I cannot you know. lie to you. I mean. <laughs> we'll just have to dream of the white right. Christmas Keep instead. Dreaming. That's what we said yesterday. Fine, I'll, I'll be the person that wants the snow. <laughs> that's okay. Thanks, Ahmed.